Even saying that word makes me sick. Now, anyone we find here, we bring in alive. Understood? Round them up, then take this operation down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're dealing with. See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest, our excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. I handle this. Well, the way I said... Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he's definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? We'll take the left. Let's stop these filthy degenerate tax dodgers. Remember what he said. We need... Bridge over there. Think you take this one, Bill? With pleasure. We'll take the left. Let's stop these filthy degenerate tax dodgers. The chicken have a fine idea. Remember what he said. We need them alive.
good work, gentlemen. I think that's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. Oh, so. think you're real funny, don't you? Tell me about it. <laughs> that is the last time I'll mention it, I swear. Yeah, I'm sure. Just a second. and get out of here. Fine by me.
Well, forgive me, but me and my men must return to our lives. Ah. Seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it. For personal consumption, it's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. But my cousin, Webster, he used to say some of us is not as American as others. If you know what I mean. Only I didn't, quite. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move. We have a life on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on. You ride with me. Okay. Should I stash this somewhere near camp, boss? Yeah. Yes, show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always. From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the Young Dutch again. What do you mean, Young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Okay, you're on. That's the spirit. Okay, on my word. Set, go! Quite so good at running away, Arthur. Well, I never knew age had slowed you down quite so much. <laughs> well, time is a bastard. When you get to be my age, 
Well, you'll know that better than anything. Be well. I had fun with you today. You're... I was gonna say you're like a son to me. But you're more than that. some horses horses yeah we had a an appointment with mr braithwaite i believe yeah i never heard about any of this a partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here but perhaps we should look elsewhere well i okay then but head on up to the stables someone will come see you easy. No need to rush. You don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. All right. I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down. Play cool. We'll head around the front. Hitch up there. All right, let's hitch up here. What are you doing? Good boy. Let me do the talking. you boys I hope so heard you got some horses we always got horses fine horses I mean I don't get you friend yeah you do come on listen why don't you get out of here you scarface and your greaser buddy whoa I don't like officials we ain't officials we're connoisseurs looking to do some breedings come on now partner okay fine follow me these here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working if that's what you're interested in what is your boys interested in we represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, saratoga is that so unofficially of course this Chris? a hot greaser huh okay bandana's on don't need nobody recognizing us all right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Hey, easy, easy now. now. Whoa. Marston, you're going to tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. Whoa, easy, easy. 
You'll be all right. <laughs> this way. Come on. This here's Cerberus. Hey, good boy. Cerberus. <laughs> uh huh. Greaser, huh? Okay. Bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing us. All right. I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Easy now. Marston, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. Easy there. Take it easy there. You okay? Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we'll regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Get going, you two. I'll watch the... What? Stop! Stop! We'll be around! I said stop these men! Stop! Oh, you son of a bitch! Coming this way! Out of the field! Just over there, come on. 
Let's get this over with. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. You think they look like they're paying 5,000 for horses? I guess we'll see. What you boys want? Heard you was, uh, heard you paid good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother Clive. We're twins. John, Arthur, Javier. <clears throat> so what are you, Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That so? Maybe. Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you... I can give you 650 for them. Hey. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right, you goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. See you boys again, I hope. Come on, yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Believed a yarn spun us by one of that Gray family. Imagined we was gonna be wonderfully rich. At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. 